It seems like one has to always stress the definition of rumor. Uh, in the mere mention of the word can mean it's either true or it's not true. Or it might be partially true. And that's the nature of rumor, and that is always as it has been. And we don't just suddenly decide it means something else, that it means absolutely 100% factual truth. And if it turns out it wasn't, then therefore you are a liar. And no, it doesn't work that way. You don't get to just change the definition of terms. Of course, a lot of these videos uh, on pop culture uh, involve rumors. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, speculation uh, about the stories and where they can go is, has always been uh, the nature of fandom and any of these uh, popular stories. So, for quite a while, there had been this rumor about uh, that there was trouble on the Mandalorian set and that Pedro Pascal was on his way out. And uh, the, the initially, and it, st it stood to reason. That's why it had some uh, sounded like it might be credible. Was that he was upset that he, his face is never seen, that he has to wear that helmet all the time, and that it got so bad that he was causing trouble on the set. And then ultimately, uh, a fight of some sort breaks out, and he's asked to leave the set. Well, then the show comes on, and you know we watch it, and then there's several, well, several. There's two episodes. Um, where he takes the helmet off. <laughs> and of course, organically through the story, it, you can see that he's seeing that there's other aspects to Mandalorian culture that he wasn't uh, aware of and, and stuff like that. And then, of course, ultimately the final payoff at the end uh, is per perfectly understandable as to why he would take the helmet off. And he, you needed him to take the helmet off for that scene. And uh, so, you know, well, uh, so, oh, well, maybe the, his, his uh, theatric, his, uh, uh, his uh, bra uh, uh, anger or what have you, <laughs> it's paid off and that was written into it. No, I don't think so. Because of the way the story is uh, delivered through the uh, series, he would have known that at some point, yes, he's going to get more episodes than the last season, which only got one little brief scene between him and, uh, you know, the droid there. And uh, he he gets more scenes here with his, his helmet off, and I think that'll uh, only continue forward. But, uh, so there was all this trouble. What could it have meant? It could have meant that there was some sort of uh, mishap going on, and uh, you, you get stories like this all the time about sets and, and arguments, and I, I recall for the Star Trek Discovery that... Uh, the, uh, oh, I'm blanking on his name, but you know, oh, Anson Mount, uh, the uh, Captain Pike character. Apparently, there was and it, there was truth to this that he uh, got in an argument with the director and apparently got physical, and that sort of thing. So, this sort of stuff can happen, but as to why and all the particulars, might not know it. And then once the story gets passed around, by the time it gets to certain people's sources. <laughs> <laughs> they may not have the accurate story of what happened. So, uh, now Grace Randolph is completely under fire. You lied. And uh, she's the one that originated this uh, this story and all of that. And so, well, the series comes and, of course, the big blowout of the big Luke Skywalker moment and all that stuff. And, uh, well, he got to take his helmet off. So, the, oh, this story must have been complete BS. And maybe it was. But uh, she doubles down <laughs> and then uh, says she, this will be our final tweet. Uh, another source just reached out to me. Turns out reason Pascal was asked to leave the set is far more serious than I originally heard. It was not the helmet issue. So, oh, it was never about the helmet, apparently. Uh, so it's, since it's so serious, I didn't ask for the reason because I want to stay out of it done well <laughs> now she deleted this tweet and obvious for the obvious reason here then don't put this out there you know i and i have a hard time believing you didn't ask what the reason was how serious is it you wouldn't know you uh, apparently you don't know i uh, you know and uh, you, so the problem with putting this out here is now the speculation gets even worse than the original one and that he did something really terrible you know, some people might even speculate it's criminal. <laughs> you just, 
you can't do that. She deleted it, but it's the internet. Once you post it, that's it. You can delete all you want. Doesn't matter. Uh, so that's a problem on her. This uh, the idea that she got a rumor wrong and that this makes her a terrible person and she should cancel her uh, YouTube channel and all that. No, uh, I don't think so. I don't. It's much ado about nothing a lot. But did she, this kind of stuff it she shouldn't have done, and that's on her. Uh, so now <laughs> to keep it going, <laughs> of course Favreau comes out and announces. Oh, yeah, we've got this Bubba Fett series. Now, the idea of the other room was that Bubba Fett would replace Mandalorian because they couldn't deal with Pedro Pascal. That's just, I, you know, I, Mandalorian is their big breadwinner now. It's their big hit. They haven't had one in a while. And it's like, oh, it's saving Star Wars, which I'm dubious of. But it is a success, and it served uh, Disney Plus very well. It's done good work for them. Uh, to suddenly scrap that, I... <laughs> Well, you'll get Bubba Fett, and Bubba Fett series might do well too. But you know, it's weaved through the Mandalorian, and now it's a setup for the to be a spinoff show. Um, so you'll get Bubba's story and all that, uh, Bubba, <laughs> Boba. Um, but I, I never really uh, believed that one, and it just sounds too stupid of an idea uh, to do. So the idea that it's still on is that, well, a Mandalorian, I mean, uh, uh, Boba Fett, the Book of Boba Fett will be in December, which is the normal slot for Mandalorian uh, uh, series. And it's supposed, But he does says there will be a Mandalorian season three and that production on it will follow after they've finished production on Boba Fett, which is ongoing right now. So... I, you know, as to when it'll be, and some suggesting in this article seems to just, gee, does that mean he won't be back until December of 2022? And that would be a long time. It's possible they could just move it to follow uh, the Boba Fett series, you know, after a week or what have you. And it would be in January or something like that. Uh, or February, I guess. But, uh, I, so uh, the fact that it's already been uh, changed and whatnot. And they've got more shows coming, and a lot's going to be on Favreau's plate uh, because he's proven he knows what he's doing. And so a lot, how much of this shows will be under his watchful eye? There's a bunch of them they've got planned. They've already announced those and all that. So uh, that could just be the nature of how this is unfolding. Uh, so the, the, the big thing here is seen as a clue is that he says Mandalorian will be back, but he doesn't mention Pedro Pascal. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> uh, but that's just guessing again. That's not really, uh, it backs up that uh, things are so bad with Pascal that uh, uh, he's done. I, mm, I don't think so. Um, yeah, you know, the only thing that got him in trouble was this, you know, calling Trump people Nazis and stuff, which, yeah, he deleted it. But yeah, again, <laughs> you can delete it all you want, but it's still there. But other than that, as far as what he's supposed to have done on the set, somebody needs to say that this is what happened or it's nothing really did. You know, and to put that out there, it was far more serious. Well, then somebody's going to have to say something. But at this point, that's kind of that's pretty much bad on uh, Grace Randolph for that one. Um so I, I don't know what to make uh, of a lot of that. Uh, if they, if it all it means is just they, they, he got in a shouting match between him and Favreau, who's the boss here. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. But you know, you cool off and uh, think of the money. <laughs> and uh, you, you know, it should be fine. <laughs> Everybody has troubles at work. It happens. Uh, so, but that being said, it's all speculation and rumor some of this could be true little nuggets of it could be true it could just be something that's greatly uh, exaggerated um, but I suspect yes he'll be back in the suit and uh, for Mandalorian 3 and uh, and hopefully for the Mandalorian story that Mandalorian season 3 will be more about the Mandalorian whereas season 2 um, you know was basically a season of guest stars, which which the big payoff at the end, you know, <laughs> well, uh, which worked well for them. Uh, but Mandalorian himself uh, needs to have his story more fleshed out. We've got little uh, uh, teasers of that in the first season of the flashback of him surviving the Clone Wars, 
and more elements of that to his story. Of course, there's the Dark Saber to deal with, and ultimately Mandalore itself, and uh, that could still all be centered around him and uh, give him more. And ultimately, of course, you're going to want the reunion between him and uh, Groku, and uh, I don't know if they'll fill all that up into uh, an eight-episode season. Maybe they'll push that off till season four. Although, I don't know. I don't think they're going to be able to do that. They're going to have to have some sort of reunion of Groku or Groku's involvement, which may involve more cameos of of Luke Skywalker, which would be cool, too. But um, needs to have a lot of focus on Mandalorian himself. This is the third season in, and you need some of that there. Um, but, yeah, the merchandising uh, money that uh, little... Uh, the, the artist formerly known as Baby Yoda <laughs> is just too good to keep him uh, under wraps for a while and try to go through a whole season and you don't see him. No, I think he'll be in season three. So, anyway, there you go. Uh, rumors remain rumors. Could be true. Could not be true. Could be sort of true and sort of not true. <laughs> you got it? There we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends. Yes. Also, check out my mini stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show on Radio Misfits. Dot com, and you can also watch my videos on bitshoot.com and now on rumble.com. Oh my goodness, so many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson. <laughs>